Now, how does ESET specifically keep you safe from ransomware? First, a little information about ESET the company. ESET's now been doing endpoint security for 30 years and have over 1,200 employees worldwide, partners spanning 200 countries, and are the fourth largest business endpoint security vendor. And ESET is very much a global organization as we have offices and virus labs around the world that help us to see attacks in one region before they make their way to another. ESET offers products for all of the major OSs. And our endpoint products do not just protect against malicious content like ransomware, but have the ability to serve as a web content filter and a device control solution. ESET mail security filters not just for malicious content, but also for spam at the server level and works with Exchange, Domino, Karyo, and Linux mail servers. So implementing ESET mail security plus ESET endpoint products with web control and device control gives you a multi-tiered or multi-layered approach to stop ransomware. But then within our endpoint security product itself, there are multiple layers of defense as well. And ESET believes a multi-layered approach is the best approach to protect users from the newest malware, including ransomware. And ESET continues to evolve and add new protection technologies to stay one step ahead of the newest malware. This shows the additions we have made over the years to create a fully multi-layered approach, as we do not think a single one of these technologies is a silver bullet. When it comes to ransomware specifically, we have a few protections that are the most important. Network attack protection is an extension of our firewall technology and improves detection of known vulnerabilities at the network level. And by implementing detection for commonly, uh, common vulnerabilities in widely used protocols, such as SMB, RPC, and RDP, it gives us another layer of protection against spreading malware, network conducted attacks, and exploitation of vulnerabilities for which a patch has not yet been released or deployed. And in fact, network attack protection was instrumental in the WannaCryptor or WannaCry outbreak because network attack protection was actually blocking all of the NSA exploits that were released several weeks before the WannaCry attack. So we were already preventing that eternal blue exploit before the WannaCry ransomware ever came out with this module. Pattern matching can be bypassed easily with simple modification of code or use of obfuscation techniques. However, the behavior of objects cannot be changed so easily. So ESET DNA detections are designed to take advantage of this principle. What we do is we perform deep analysis of the code and extract genes that are responsible for its behavior. And these behavioral genes contain much more information than the indicators of compromise that some solutions claim to be a better alternative to signature detection. ESET behavioral genes are used to then construct DNA detections, which assess potentially suspect code, whether it's found on the disk or in the running process memory. Additionally, our scanning engine extracts many discriminator genes, which are used for anomaly detection. So anything which does not look legitimate is potentially malicious. And depending on the adjustable threshold level and matching conditions, DNA tech detections can identify specific known malware samples, new variants of a known malware family, or, evenly, or even previously unseen or unknown malware, which contains genes that indicate malicious behavior. In other words, a single well-crafted DNA detection can detect tens of thousands of related malware and variants and enable our software not only to detect malware that we already know about or have seen before, but also new previously unknown variants. And finally, ESET Cloud Malware Protection System is one of several technologies based on ESET's cloud-based system, ESET Live Grid. Unknown potentially malicious applications and other possible threats are monitored and submitted to ESET Cloud via the live grid feedback system. 
The samples are then collected and subjected to automatic sandboxing and behavioral analysis, which results in the creation of automated detections if malicious characteristics are confirmed. This mechanism's turnaround time is typically under 20 minutes, which allows for effective detection of emerging threats even before regular detections are delivered to users. And ESET endpoints learn about these automated detections directly from the ESET Live Grid system without the need to wait for the next detection update. And even if you're concerned about privacy, within the Live Grid system on the endpoint side, you can restrict what items get uploaded to ESET for analysis. So you could say, I never want to send docs or EXEs or whatever it might be. And ESET consistently participates in third-party testing to validate that all of our technology not only works, but is extremely effective. Because we can say all of these different things that we do, but if there's no proof that they work, it's just marketing at that point. So the first test comes from SE Labs that tested the detection capabilities of the endpoint security products. And this test occurred in the first quarter of this year. Next, te this test focused on false alarms or false positives. And it's important to stress that it's not just about detection because ESET believes that it's important to have a balance of detection, performance, and low false positives. Because it would be easy to detect 100% of malware if you did not allow users to open documents for several hours while you analyze the file further. Or it would be easy to detect 100% of malware if you had hundreds of false positives. However, the problem with false positives is that a single false positive can break entire applications or entire computers, as we've seen in the news many times. The third test focuses on that final piece of the balance I talked about, performance. This test from AV Comparatives focuses on the actions users actually do on computers. So copying files, opening applications, opening browsers, and many other things along that methodology. ESET in this test scored a 0.3, whereas other vendors scored 10, 20, or even 60 times more slowdown than ESET on a device. Finally, here's another test on self-protection of AV. Yes, there are quite a few people that received 100%, but it's important to know that ESET is the only vendor who has scored 100% in this test three years in a row. And this test is important because it is around how well does your AV protect itself from being tampered with. If a piece of malware can tamper with the endpoint security product, turn it off, disable it, uninstall it, it really does not matter how good your detection is at that point. And due to a multi-layer defense being very important in the fight against ransomware, I also included a third-party test dealing with spam. ESET in the most recent virus bulletin spam test blocked 100% of spam and are featured at the top right of the quadrant from virus bulletin. And as you can see, being in the top right indicates not only do we have the highest detection rate, but the lowest false positive rate. And we have now won this test seven out of the last eight times. And this shows that it's important for us to protect users across all different forms of threats and how important that multi-layered approach is to ESET. So how do you switch? At ESET, we know switching AVs can be a nightmare and usually requires several reboots, downtime, and doesn't work at all sometimes. So we created Rip and Replace that simplifies and automates the migration of any AV to ESET. It's a single MSI that requires no reboots, no downtime, and no user interaction. And we guarantee it to work 100% of the time. So by having rip and replace, we hope to remove any migration hesitation that companies might have. Finally, a newer project, and something that is important for that multi-layered approach, was the creation of ESET Cybersecurity Awareness Training. This is a completely free service. It's a 90 minute training that contains a test at the end. 
If you complete the test, you're provided with a certificate. And businesses can sign up for free. Then they're provided with email templates that allow for easy invitation of the rest of their employees. Or if you already have a training department, we provide the resources so your training department can deliver this directly to your employees. For more information, you can find it at eset.com slash cybertraining, or you can click the link in the resource list on the right-hand side of your screen.